we could just say the movement of water and minerals and movement of glucose and amino acids. But this is science. And so we like to have special words to describe these processes. In this video, we are going to look at the transport system in plants for moving food, water, and minerals around. We have a beating heart and circulating blood. But what do plants have? Cut a plant open and it doesn't bleed. So what happens instead? Plants have their own systems. They have a xylem, which moves water and solutes from the roots to the leaves, and a phloem, which moves glucose made in the leaves by photosynthesis and amino acids to the rest of the plant. Here is the xylem, and here is the phloem. Notice how the arrangement is different in the stem and the root? The xylem and phloem are found in groups called vascular bundles, and the position of these bundles change for different parts of the plant. Both the xylem and the phloem are made up of rows of cells that form a continuous tube running the whole length of the plant. The xylem vessels are made of elongated dead cells that are impermeable to water and have walls containing lignin, a woody material. Because of this, xylem vessels are tough. And it is why vascular bundles in the roots are in the center. They help prevent the plant from being pulled out of the ground. They're also more protected in the center. The stem, on the other hand, has to resist being squashed and bent, so it has the vascular bundles nearer the edge to give it strength and support. Phloem vessels are made up of living cells. They transport sucrose and amino acids up and down the plant, depending on where they are needed. Whereas in the xylem, the movement is just one way, from the roots up to the leaves. So, now we know that water and minerals go up the xylem and amino acids and glucose go up and down the phloem 